The DDC hopes to turn this property into something like this. Think more parking and the potential for development. Do you remember this face? You should. It was plastered across South Walton for months. It started about 10 a.m. this morning and by noon had grown to about 50 acres. As you said, it's about 100 acres right now. Now it feels like another wave is coming through. You can see the rain starting to pick up in the wind. Any sort of shade structure, whether it's a baby tent or a canopy, has to be 30 feet or about 10 strides from the water's edge. While this substation may not be manned 24 7, there's a button you can push for help as well as video surveillance. So they've got eyes on you 24 7. It's been a very loud and very exciting night for Donald Trump supporters here out on the beach. We're actually in the new building right now, and here's a little layout of what it looks like. It is 18 thousand square feet. If you take a look here, you can see the lines of sand resemble almost like a tree trunk. South Walton Fire District was smack dab in the middle at a five, but they improved down to a three. The charter sets a cap on potential ad valorem millage rates at 2.5 mils. The FWC is looking to potentially cancel the harvest season for 2016 for scallops. Now this is a big deal, obviously, here in Gulf County. They're posted on either side of private beaches here in Seaside, and they say you have to have a wristband to be on this portion of the beach. First development councils are working to correct misinformation after an Atlanta meteorologist got on the airwaves yesterday saying some panhandle beaches were closed and infected with a flesh eating bacteria. News 13's Maggie Solomon joins us live from Panama City Beach. Maggie Bay County had satisfactory tests from the health department. They did, Amy, and the health department here in Bay County says the waters are completely safe. Now, over in Walton County, two beaches were given that health advisory, one of which has since been rescinded. Now, I need you to keep in mind, Atlanta is the top market for tourism as far as Panama City Beach and South Walton, and this is the kind of misinformation that can spread quickly. On the eve of one of the busiest weekends of the year. It's a wonderful day in South Walton. This is Brooke. South Walton is fielding a ton of calls and questions. We had a lot of calls to our partners and to our hotels and lodging accommodations, people trying to get the facts. Facts concerning this assigned warning people of a health advisory on two of Walton County's beaches, Blue Mountain Beach and Miramar Beach. Two uh, beaches had uh, bacteria present, and again, there's bacteria present outside every day. Uh, but if there's elevated conditions, uh, normal notice is given. It's a common occurrence, but Wednesday, an Atlanta weatherman reported high levels of fecal matter had closed Okaloosa and Walton County beaches, saying the bacteria made it unsafe to swim, calling it, quote, the kind of flesh-eating bacteria. County Departments of Health test water quality weekly and report the results. If the fecal content is above normal levels, they issue a health advisory, but that doesn't mean the beaches are closed. I saw last night on Facebook that beaches down here were closed. Reports swirled from Georgia to Alabama claiming Panhandle beaches were in bad shape, even affecting Bay County, who had no poor beach samplings. Fourth of July is the peak of our tourist season. You know, so we did get a number of calls, but I believe most of those folks, when they heard the news, are, are coming you know, because everything here is great. After all is said and done, both Walton and Bay County officials say the beach is open for business. Certainly, if I had plans to go to the beach this weekend, I wouldn't change them. Hopefully making 4th of July weekend one of the busiest yet. Now, the television station WSB-TV in Atlanta has since rescinded the original statements and made some clarifications on the science of it all. We did get some updated beach samplings this afternoon. Now, Miramar Beach over in Walton County has since been taken off the health advisory list, but Blue Mountain Beach does remain on there. And Visit South Walton is working to contact all the other media outlets that picked up WSB's original story to correct that information. Back to you guys. Just off Highway 331 in Freeport, Sits hair designs by Sherry. I've been in business since 1968. She's been cutting hair here in her childhood home since 1989. And three days a week, her and her clients count cars to pass the time. I've got the windows up so that customers can watch the traffic. And do they have plenty to watch? It's backed up for four to five hours every Saturday. The highway has been under construction since 2012 as part of the 331 widening project. But starting Wednesday, Sherry's Road is hopefully getting a lot less congested. We will be removing the barricades and the barrels that are out here and we'll have four lanes of 331 open to traffic from the Choctahatchee Bay Bridge all the way to State Road 20. The nearly five mile portion of the project is just another major step towards completion. The promise was to make sure that we could get all of 331 
uh, four lane by 2016, weather permitting, uh, and we're continuing to move towards that deadline to make sure we can finish up towards the end of the year. The widening of Highway 331 will not only bring ease to drivers, but attract potential businesses as well, something Sherry is eager to see. This road is one of the things that we've needed for a very long time. We want to see something new come in here. We need it. In Walton County, Maggie Solomon, News 13. Being ready for an active shooter situation is impossible. Being prepared, that's a different story. It is muscle memory. The Bay County Sheriff's Office is spending all month giving sworn officers hands-on experience with lifelike simulations. Your heart rate's elevated and it's a, it's a stressful situation. Miss your hands, miss your hands. We train them to go in, find them, deal with it and stop the killing. Deputies are using three basic options, pass, hold, or shoot. You scan the rooms, you identify if there is a threat. If there's not, you move on. That's the pass. If you see somebody in there that has a potential weapon, if you think that is a threat, you address that threat, you hold them. And the person has a weapon in their hand or has proximity to you to injure you or maybe somebody else, that would be a shoot. So let's put it to the test. Pass, hold, or shoot. Here we go. First, go for the immediate threat. That's her. Shoot. Then, to the other guys. Their hands are up. But wait, did you miss it? Watch this guy closely. Yeah, that's a gun. Now imagine having to process all of this in just five seconds. That's probably going to be multiplied by 100. The practice gives law enforcement something to fall back on in case of those high intensity situations. There's only two types of officers. There's trained and untrained. Drop the bat, drop the bat! And that training leaving Bay County more prepared, just in case. It's not even Thanksgiving, but Christmas is on the mind here at Caring and Sharing. Charlotte McQueen has no time to unwind. I look over every child I process. Almost like Santa with her list of children in need, that's where the Angel Tree program takes the lead. Towards the end of it, you'll, this tree and this entire lobby will be filled with bikes and toys and gifts and it's, it's, it's really pretty neat. They're partnering up with South Walton Fire and with a lot of children left, it's elves they require. We have 200 kids left and December 6th is not that far away. And if you can't pick up presents, well, there's no need to fret. We'll go do some shopping for some of those kids that haven't got chosen yet. Just drop off some cash at the district or with Miss McQueen. It is just the most wonderful, blessed thing you have ever seen. But until more people step in and step up, the lobby will remain empty. That is, until it fills up. It's almost a fire hazard. Thank goodness I'm the fire marshal. Helping fulfill a child in needs wish. It is really the true true meaning of Christmas. The true meaning of Christmas, unlike you've ever seen. In Walton County, Maggie Solomon, News 13.